G'day, I'm Jason Belmonte, I'm from Australia and I'm a professional bowler. The last few years, I've been the best bowler in the world and there's no way that I ever thought that was ever going to happen. But now that I'm here, I'm not giving it up for anything. I bowl a little bit differently to everybody else. I use a two-handed technique. It allows me to throw the ball with a higher rotation uh, so I can create a lot more power and curve. Um, and I can also throw the ball quite quick. So mix all that together and my strike ball is, is quite devastatingly powerful. So I've been, I've been given a, a little koala bear. I'm gonna curve the ball around him and get a strike without hitting the poor little guy. Fingers crossed I don't bash the little koala. Okay, so we, we bowled around a koala safely, but let's raise the ante a little bit. Let's put something on the lane that's a little expensive. 15 pound ball traveling at almost 20 miles an hour. If I hit it, I think I'm buying a new camera. So the hardest spare in bowling is the 710. That's the one on the far left corner, far right corner. What I'm going to do though today is kind of make it a little bit easier for me to spare. I'm gonna use two balls. I'm gonna throw the first shot from the back of the approach with one hand, and then I'm gonna do a backup delivery with my normal two-handed technique to spare the other pin. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a couple of gates down the lane, but I'm gonna put these pins relatively close. I'm gonna have a couple of inches on either side of the ball to not hit these pins. If I hit the pins, they're gonna explode and probably go through and break something. So I've, I've, I'm really hoping, I'm actually nervous with this one. So this next trick is called the hairpin. Basically, I'm gonna make my bowling ball curve at a ridiculous rate really quickly while curving around a shape of pins. So you're gonna see that there's really not much room between the pins and the gutter. So I need to hope that that ball curves before falling in the gutter without hitting the pins. And then I'm gonna curve it enough to hit just the seven pin in the corner. So it's hard enough to knock over 10 pins normally, but I'm gonna try and knock over 20 pins now with a twist. Instead of setting them all up down the end, I'm gonna set 10 pins up in front of me and it's gonna create what we call the Great Wall. I'm gonna throw it over the Great Wall, still get a strike down the lane and hopefully all the pins have fallen over.